Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAPSD Support Project Real Time Tickets. So, business having an issue when they try to access the sales order in either through VH02 or VH03. So, what the issue they are getting is that if you see here, they are getting this error message saying that no status object is available for so and so object ID. And in some other cases, when they try to open the order in change mode, and you see the status tab, there is a one pencil icon here. If you click that icon, that time also they will receive the same error. No status object is available for the SDI and 10300 is order number, 10 is an item number. Let's see what's this issue and where it is coming from. Let me show you in the system. So remember that these errors are relevant for status management. So to fix the status management issues, there are two T codes, standard I mean standard reports provided by SAP. That is SD, SD stat U1, SD stat U2. Let me show you the first T code. Let me, not the T code, sorry, it's not the T code, it's a program. Go to SC38. Sorry, let me log in. Okay, let me open SC38 transaction code. Enter the report SD, SD, EAT, U1. SD stand U1. This is the report. And click on execute now. So the purpose of this report, if you execute without entering any order number here, then it will display the list of orders where system identifies there are some issues in the status management. If you execute this, see, I have received this many orders. It is saying that the first order is 10300. And there is an issue in partner 10 and 11 and 12 as well. Coming to one more order, 10374. In this order also, there are some issues with three items, 10, 11 and 12. Let me open that in VA02. The first order is 10300. 10300. If I go inside status, you see here, uh, there is one pencil icon here is right. If you click this and uh, if you click either set or reset. So we can reset or set the status. What will be the block status? We can, re we can change the status here. If you want to make fully invoice as a still in progress or not yet process, it means we can mod modify this one here. And if you want to set overall status of that item is should be changed to something else means we can change here but if i click anything reset or set i will get the message no status object is available for sdi 10300 10 that means it is for for item 10 there are some inconsistency data in the status management similarly for second item as well i will get the same error and for third as well. Okay, so this error we are getting inside this order. In some cases, I've shown you here, right? In some cases, we might get that error when we try to access the order in VA02 or VA03. The fix is same for both of the errors or issues. 
so so far we have seen only one report that is sd stat u1 let me tell you one more report that is sd stat u2 let me execute this okay so the sd stat u1 will display the orders where we have the issue and uh, coming to sd stat u2 this report will display and fix the issues where there are some inconsistency data with status management okay so remember that there is one backend database table is there that is jstvo so for example our order number is 10300 right so copy this 10300 in the object number column star 10300 and if you execute so we are getting so many entries let me add the object category that is v vbp if you execute hmm. now see my order is this one 10300 so there are some inconsistency data right so basically when we run the report this is stat u2 this report will try to add a missing entry to jsto table see jsto is a status object information table so whenever any entry is missing in this table of an item then only we'll get that inconsistent data so this sd stat u2 report will try to insert that missing entry to jsto table okay so now what i will do i will take the order number 10300 execute this see what it is saying so change has been happened to the item level now if i run the same report sd stat u2 okay nc38 sd stat u1 execute execute see now i don't see that order number 10300 that has been fixed now after running the report sd stat u2 okay so and uh, in jstvo tables also you see earlier it was 14 entries after that uh, running that report it becomes 17 entries so the entry has been added now right so this is how it will work i think these are the two entries 10300 yeah not this one sorry these are the missing entries 10300 10 11 12 items now if i open the same modern va02 i am able to do that activity no issues i will receive go inside status see now it's came already set it's set now technically fully invoiced hmm so now i can reset the status okay now this is enabled now i see one uh, uh, field as system status earlier we don't see this one right now we can see that yeah so by running this report sd stat u1 and sd stat u2 we can overcome this status management inconsistent issues so the table is jstvo so you may get one question so why we are getting this kind of errors so these errors we might expect we might receive this in case of something wrong in that program level majorly in the custom program level only this is complete purely technical so whenever there is a commit work statement has been returned in any custom program 
and that is executed before save of an order save button clicking before clicking on the save button if the statement is executed then this issue might arise in one more cases if we cancel or delete any of the items and during that point of time if you come out without saving the transaction or if you abruptly stopping the order to save in that case also we might expect this kind of inconsistent behavior hope this video will be very helpful we'll meet in the next video thank you everyone